Before we begin exploring Illustrator's interface, let's define a few key terms to help us better understand what Illustrator can do. When dealing with digital images, image quality or resolution is an important component in project management. Resolution refers to the quality of an image and is measured in pixels per inch, or PPI, for monitor viewing, and dots per inch, or DPI, for printed material. The common standard for monitor or online viewing is 72 PPI, but for printing, resolution should be set to 300 DPI. The higher the resolution, the better the quality. Illustrator creates vector graphics but can also edit raster images. Let's define what a raster image is. Rasterized images contain a fixed number of pixels. This means that increasing the image decreases its resolution and vice versa. Digital photographic images are always rasterized images, as are any vector graphic including text and shapes that's been rasterized. Vector graphics, on the other hand, are made up of points, lines, and curves defined by mathematical equations. They are resolution independent and can freely modify without losing detail or clarity. Type and shapes created in Illustrator are all vector graphics and can be resized without degradation. They also have cleaner edges and lines to make them look a lot sharper than rasterized images. Now that we've defined the key terms, let's move on and begin exploring Adobe Illustrator. To open Illustrator, click on the Start button. Then in the Search Field text box, type in Illustrator. Once it appears, click on Adobe Illustrator CS5 to launch the program. You can also click on All Programs, click on Adobe Design Premium CS5, then select Adobe Illustrator. In order to activate all of Illustrator's features, we're going to create a new file. To follow along, click on the File menu, then select New. Then in the New Document dialog box, Click OK. On the very top of the program, you'll find the application bar. On it, we have the shortcut button to bridge, Adobe's image file browser or image viewing software, arrange documents shortcut button, which arranges multiple files as a grid or side by side, and the workspace drop down menu. By default, Illustrator's workspace is set to essential. The Workspace menu allows you to rearrange Illustrator in a way to best fit your needs. For example, if you're working with a lot of type, it's better to use the Typography Workspace. What we're doing now is expanding the panel by clicking on the double-headed arrow. To return to the Essential Workspace, click on the Workspace menu and select Essential. We're going to expand our panels once again by clicking on the double-headed arrow. One panel that is essential to whatever project you're working on is the Tools panel. The top section is where the selection tools are located. Then in the next section, you'll find the editing and painting tools, including the type and shape tools. Below that are the transform tools, then the color and measurement tools, symbol and graph tools, and then the viewing tools. Below that is the fill box and stroke box. The fill box is used to color inside the shape while the stroke box is used to color the outline of a shape. Some of the tools have a black triangle on the lower right hand corner. This indicates that there are hidden tools behind the tool. To view them, click and hold on the type tool to see what tools are hidden behind it. To select a hidden tool while holding down your mouse, drag it over the desired hidden tool. To see what's hidden under the Shape tool, click and hold down the Rectangle tool, then select the Ellipse tool. To reselect the Rectangle tool, click and hold down on the Ellipse tool, then select the Rectangle tool. The Control Panel provides quick access to options related to a selected object or tool. As you click on different tools, the control panel changes to match whatever options are available for that given tool. 
The menu bar is where you can find Illustrator commands, including Save. In the Windows menu, you will find all of Illustrator's panels. The ones with a check mark next to it means that they are currently active and on your workspace. For example, there's a check next to Layers and you can find the Layers panel on the workspace. If you accidentally close a panel, just go back to the Windows menu and select that panel again. Another important panel is the Layers panel. Let's open an existing Illustrator file to use the Layers panel. First, go to the File menu and select Open. Locate data file layers.ai, then click on the Open button. This work area is referred to in Illustrator as the Artboard. To use our Layers panel, let's double click on the Layers panel tab. The Layers panel is used to list, organize, and edit objects located in an Illustrator document. Each layer is overlapping with the other layers in the panel. The objects on the top layers will appear on top of the image. Let's practice working with layers. To turn a layer's visibility on or off, click on the visibility icon that looks like an eye. You can try this with all of the layers. You can also lock a layer by clicking on the square adjacent to the visibility icon. To create a new layer, click on the Create New Layer button located at the bottom of the Layers panel. To delete a layer, select the layer you'd like to delete, then click on the Delete Selection button. To move a layer, click and drag that layer to its desired location. Once you see a dark line appear, release the mouse to drop the layer. To rename a layer, double click on a layer's name. Then in the Layers Options dialog box, type in a new layer name. When finished, click OK. To view a layer sublayers, click on the right pointing triangle on the left side of the layer.